I use placemakers building mm -hmm. um, import function in order to bring in context buildings. Awesome. But I wanted to add trees where the trees are, right? Just to kind of like close this out because I wanted it to look nice. You know, I wanted to look like I finished it. There were some things I couldn't figure out, like putting striping on the road mm. where I said, this is plenty good enough. I don't need to go to that <laughs> level. Um, but what I did is I used an extension called Scatter. And so Scatter is a really great tool for scattering things in your models. Well, what Scatter does is it lets you pick a host and then it lets you pick an object that you want to scatter. So like in this case, I just went with some 2D face me trees, mm -hmm. right? So you can pick a couple of these in here. Well, the problem is it's scattering it across this whole surface right? But it's got this really cool function where you can add a mask and it's a paint mask and you can tell it to either use it as an exclusion. So you can use it either as an exclusion function or an addition function. And so when I paint in here, whoops, it went away, right? You got to paint it while it's live in here. But when I let up, notice what it's doing is it's scattering these just where my brush is. Then when I'm done, I click on done. I can click on generate. And it'll drop all those trees in here. That's and awesome. then when I close out scatter, I've got all of those 2D. I would not do this with 3D geometry, by the way. Um, oh. So like, don't, don't do this with 3D too, too trees because they're too heavy. Yeah. But if you do them with the 2D trees, like now wherever I go, they're going to face me. Right. And it's going to give me this really cool result.